I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Now here is a question from one of our subscribers who wants to understand how to find dy dx of the given function. Now many times you are not in a position to isolate y so we use the implicit differentiation. In this question however we could easily isolate y right. So what I will do here is provide you two different solutions. So may, uh, maybe we'll do implicit differentiation and also a general differentiation. So I could actually rewrite this as square root of y over 2 equals to square root of 9 minus square root of x over x plus 1 or we can write square root of y as equal to this is 3 right so we can just multiply all of them by 2 so we get 2 times 3 minus 2 square root x over x plus 1 so if you differentiate with respect to x on both the sides right then what do you get in that case derivative of square root of y will be 1 over 2 square root of y dy dx correct equals to this derivative will be 0 and here we get negative we'll have to apply the quotient rule here right so which is x plus 1 whole square derivative of this function which is 1 over square root of 2 right so 1 over square root of x now this 2 and that 2 cancels this is what you will get times x plus 1 minus 2 square root x times derivative of x plus 1 which is 1 so you here you get 2 square root x correct so here we can simplify this taking square root x common we get negative here I can write square root x in the denominator we get x plus 1 whole square here we get x plus 1 minus 2 square root x square root x is x right so that gives you minus and here we get 1 minus x over square root of x times x plus 1 whole square which you could rewrite as we can write now dy dx as equal to 2 times square root y I am changing this sign and writing numerator as x minus 1 over square root of x times x plus 1 whole square correct so we get our derivative in this form so that is by isolating y we could find the derivative however many times it is not so easy to do it so we adopt implicit differentiation let us see how to solve this question using implicit differentiation so we'll take derivative with respect to x on both the sides for the given function let's see what do we get so so the first part derivative will be we'll apply the quotient rule of course just as we did here we get x plus 1 whole square derivative of square root of x is uh, So, derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 square root x times the denominator which is x plus 1 minus uh, square root x times derivative of denominator. So, we get square root of x here. Let's see the derivative of the second term. Square root of y. So, it will be half is a constant. Let's write down half times 1 over 2 square root of y times dy dx correct and the right side is a constant so we get 0 as our derivative now we can rearrange taking this on the right side we get 1 over 4 square root of y dy dx equals 2 taking it on the right side I'll make square root x first so that is like negative of this right square root of x minus all this 
which is half of square root of x times x plus 1 over x plus 1 whole square. Now I could write this as taking 2 square root x as common, so we get 2 square root x square root x is x minus, we get x plus 1 here. In the denominator we get 2 square root x and here we have x plus 1 whole square. That is dy dx. We can multiply by 4 square root y, correct? So we multiplied by 4 square root y. Uh, sorry. Uh, when you open the bracket, you get 2x minus x as 1x. I should not cancel, okay? So 2x minus x is x, so you get x minus 1 here, divided by 2 square root x times x plus 1 whole square times 4 times square root of y. Now we can cancel these two terms. We get 2 square root y. So we can write this as 2 square root y, just as we have written here, times x minus 1 divided by square root x times x plus 1 whole square. So as you can see, we got exactly the same answer, correct? So, so you could actually do implicit differentiation for such cases. Many times when it is not so easy to do it, isolate y and then find derivative. Implicit differentiation is very handy. So I hope you understand the steps involved. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.